My name's Professor Paul Wood. I work at Loughborough University in Geography and Environment. Today we're in Woodwork at Loughborough, so we're going to look for some fantastic mini beasts and I'm going to show you exactly where we can find them. Before we do any sampling, we need to check that our river is shallow enough that we can simply walk into the river and take our sample. Once we go into the river, I'm going to walk out into the middle and then I'm going to face downstream and let the current of the river carry anything that we catch into our net. So when I'm ready, I walk out into the stream just making sure that I'm not going to slip onto anything and then I'm going to find a section of the river and hold the net in front of me. Try not to stand too close to the net because otherwise you're going to just simply fill the net full of gravel. Once you're in the middle of the river, simply kick the bottom of the stream and disturb the stones turning them over and let the current of the water carry your invertebrates into the net. Once you've finished your sample, simply lift your net out of the water and then you can start to explore and see the mini beasts you've caught. Okay, so we've, we've collected our mini beasts and in the sample that we've collected there's an amazing number of different invertebrates. Very often when you find your mini beast you want to try and identify it and there's, you can use any type of key to do that. We have one that's just a paper copy and it generally asks us a series of questions so that we can find out what we're looking at. And so very often the first question is does the animal have legs or not? And if it doesn't have legs then we then begin to count the legs. In this particular instance, when we look at the shrimp, we can see that it appears to have lots of legs and more than six, which means that it's going to be a crustacea, a type of animal a bit like a crab or a lobster. And so when we get to our key and we turn it over and work our way through, we can find almost at the very end, we have a picture of our freshwater shrimp. It's really important that people of all ages come out and engage with the environment again. There's lots of wildlife that we can see that's on our doorstep and by simply going out and paddling in a river we can find that there's a whole range of wildlife that can tell us amazing things about the quality of the environment, the habitats that they live in and also around issues such as climate change and invasive species. It's amazing how young people of all ages seem to be enthused by doing this type of activity because very often you're showing them things for the first time. And I know from personal experience, whether it's people at primary school, secondary school or university students, um, they're enthusiastic and have gone on to make their careers in this area.